Section. Introduction. In this section, we explore the challenges faced by large language models, LLMs, in implicit reasoning due to their limited ability to compose internalized facts and rules effectively. Despite advancements in models like GPT-4, they still struggle to compare entities' attributes accurately. This deficiency in implicit reasoning hinders the models from creating structured representations of facts and rules, leading to inefficient knowledge storage and difficulty in updating knowledge. It also restricts the models from generalizing knowledge systematically. We aim to investigate whether implicit reasoning can be improved by scaling data and compute or if there are inherent limitations in transformers preventing the robust acquisition of this skill. To address these questions, we conduct a thorough analysis by training transformers from scratch on synthetic datasets that mimic reasoning scenarios. We define reasoning as the process of inducing and applying inference rules, exposing the model to both atomic facts and inferred facts, resembling axioms and theorems in a formal system. Our experiments show that transformers can indeed learn implicit reasoning, but this skill requires extensive training beyond overfitting, a phenomenon known as grokking. The rate of improvement in generalization is influenced by the ratio of inferred to atomic facts in training rather than the absolute size of the data. This challenges previous explanations of grokking solely based on data size, emphasizing the importance of data distribution. We observe varying levels of systematicity in the model's generalization across different types of reasoning. While the model consistently generalizes well within the training data, it struggles with systematic generalization and out-of-distribution scenarios for certain types of reasoning tasks. Through mechanistic analysis, we uncover the role of internal mechanisms in achieving systematic generalization and highlight the need for memory-sharing mechanisms like memory augmentation and explicit recurrence to enhance the transformer's generalization capabilities. Furthermore, we demonstrate the transformer's potential for complex reasoning tasks by showing its superior performance compared to state-of-the-art LLMs in tasks with a large latent search space. This showcases the power of parametric memory in enhancing reasoning abilities. Section Summary Introduction Large language models, LLMs, struggle with implicit reasoning due to limitations in composing internalized facts and comparing entities' attributes. This deficiency hinders the models from inducing structured representations of facts and rules, leading to challenges in knowledge storage and updates, and hindering systematic generalization. To address these limitations, we conduct experiments using synthetic datasets to train transformers from scratch, focusing on the induction and application of inference rules to improve implicit reasoning capabilities. Our findings suggest that transformers can learn implicit reasoning through extended training, known as grokking, which is influenced by the ratio of inferred to atomic facts rather than the absolute size of the training data. Additionally, we explore the importance of memory sharing mechanisms in transformers to enhance generalization and demonstrate the superior performance of parametric memory in complex reasoning tasks compared to non-parametric memory-based LLMs like GPT-4 Turbo and GEMINI 1.5 Pro. Section Composition. Delayed generalization without systematicity. In this section, we embark on our exploration of composition, where we investigate how a model connects different pieces of information to form a complete sentence. We look into whether transformer-based language models can effectively perform this kind of implicit composition. Previous studies have shown a compositionality gap, where the model fails to combine basic facts even when it knows them individually. We delve into the reasons behind this and whether transformers are inherently limited in this type of reasoning. We focus on two-hop composition, where we create a random knowledge graph with entities and relations. Each entity is connected to another through a random relation, forming atomic facts. These facts are then divided into two sets, atomic facts used for training, ID, and atomic facts kept separate for testing, OOD. The rule of composition we follow allows us to infer new facts based on existing ones. We examine how the ratio of inferred facts to atomic facts in training data and the size of the training data impact the model's learning. 
we find that the model excels in generalizing within the training data but struggles with out-of-domain generalization. The speed of generalization is influenced by the ratio of inferred to atomic facts, with a higher ratio leading to faster generalization. Contrary to previous beliefs, we discover that the distribution of training data, rather than just the size, significantly affects the model's generalization. The concept of critical data size, thought to be crucial for successful generalization, is challenged by our findings. We also observe that increasing the model size does not fundamentally alter the generalization behavior we observe. In summary, we demonstrate that transformers can learn composition rules through a process called grokking, with our experiments highlighting the importance of data distribution in shaping the model's generalization abilities. However, many questions remain unanswered, such as what occurs during grokking, why it happens, and why transformers struggle with out-of-domain examples. Addressing these queries necessitates a deeper exploration of the model's inner workings, which we will delve into next. Section Summary In this section, we explore the concept of delayed generalization without systematicity in composition. We investigate the ability of transformer-based language models to perform implicit composition and identify a compositionality gap, where models struggle to compose known basic facts. Through controlled experiments focusing on two-hop composition, we find that transformers can learn compositional rules through a phenomenon called grokking, with the ratio of inferred to atomic facts playing a crucial role in the model's generalization, particularly in ID examples, while OOD generalization remains a challenge. Section. Analyzing the inner workings of the model throughout grokking. In this section, we delve into understanding the inner workings of the model through thorough analysis. We examine how the model functions using two main methods, logit lens and causal tracing. To do this, we conduct our analysis in a specific scenario with certain parameters on a selection of random examples from the training data. When using the logit lens approach, we look at individual hidden states by converting their activations into logits for each word in the vocabulary. This is done by multiplying the activation with the output embedding matrix after passing through the transformer's final normalization layer. In the causal tracing method, we view the transformer as a causal graph that transfers information from the input to the output through various intermediate states. This allows us to perform different causal analyses on how the model processes information internally. We identify specific hidden states within the model and target certain prediction states to observe how they interact. By perturbing the input slightly and comparing the model's behavior with and without the perturbation, we can measure the causal strength between different states. Through a series of experiments using causal tracing and logit lens techniques at different stages of training, we uncover a generalizing circuit within the model. This circuit highlights the pathways through which information flows after the model has learned from the training data. By tracking causal connections and using logit lens analysis at various checkpoints during training, we observe significant enhancements in certain connections as the model learns. These enhancements shed light on how the model gradually improves its understanding of the data over time. Our observations suggest that the model transitions from initially memorizing examples to forming more efficient computational pathways as it learns. This transition is driven by the model's preference for more efficient circuits, which can represent the data with lower complexity. Furthermore, we explain why the model may struggle with out-of-domain generalization and propose potential solutions to improve its performance in such scenarios. By understanding the mechanisms behind the model's learning process, we can work towards enhancing its ability to generalize effectively. Section Summary In this section, we delve into the inner workings of the model through a detailed analysis using the logit lens and causal tracing methods. By examining the hidden states and causal connections within the model, we uncover how it processes information and forms predictions. Through our investigations, we reveal the mechanisms behind grokking, where the model transitions from memorizing specific examples to generalizing efficiently, shedding light on the importance of circuit efficiency and memory sharing mechanisms in enhancing model generalization. Section Comparison 
systematic generalization via parallel circuit. In this section, we have just demonstrated that the vanilla transformer struggles with out of distribution, OOD, generalization when it comes to composition tasks. However, we now question whether the vanilla transformer is generally unable to learn systematic implicit reasoning skills. To investigate this, we delve into the realm of comparison tasks, which even state of the art language models like GPT 4 find challenging. At first glance, the comparison task may seem similar to the composition task as both involve retrieving and reasoning over two sets of facts. Yet, our analysis reveals a crucial difference. The comparison task involves a parallel circuit that the transformer learns during the learning process, known as grokking. This parallel circuit allows the transformer to store and retrieve atomic facts in the same region, enabling systematic reasoning to take place. In the comparison task, we focus on comparing attribute values of entities. We consider a scenario with 1,000 entities, 20 attributes, and 20 ordinal values for each attribute. Each attribute has a label space indicating comparative relations such as smaller, equal, and greater. Atomic facts are represented as triplets of entity, attribute, value, with random values assigned to each pair, entity, attribute. The rules for comparison state that if the value of one entity for a specific attribute is greater than the value of another entity for the same attribute, a comparative relation is inferred. For instance, if entity E underscore 1 is older than entity E underscore 2, the relation older is deduced. During training and testing, the model predicts the last token, which corresponds to the attribute value for atomic facts or the comparative relation for inferred facts. Our results show that the model achieves robust generalization and systematic reasoning through grokking, unlike in composition tasks. By examining the model's internal mechanisms, we identify a specific circuit for comparison tasks. This circuit operates in a parallel fashion, allowing the model to retrieve and process atomic facts simultaneously. This parallel storage and retrieval mechanism explain why systematic reasoning is possible as both in distribution, ID, and OOD facts are handled in a unified manner. Through the grokking process, we observe strengthened connections within the model, indicating a transition towards improved generalization. The transformer's ability to learn parallel solutions for sequential problems underscores its capacity for complex reasoning tasks. These findings highlight the importance of conducting detailed studies to understand the transformer's reasoning abilities before drawing broad conclusions about its limitations. Section Summary In this section, we explore whether the vanilla transformer can acquire systematic implicit reasoning skills beyond composition tasks. Through our analysis on the comparison task, we find that the transformer can achieve systematic generalization by learning a parallel circuit during grokking enabling it to store and retrieve atomic facts in the same region, leading to enhanced systematicity. This highlights the transformer's capability to learn parallel solutions for sequential problems and underscores the importance of detailed investigations into its reasoning mechanisms before drawing conclusions on its limitations. Section. The power of parametric memory for complex reasoning. In this section, we have been exploring the power of parametric memory for complex reasoning. Our research aims to enhance transformers' reasoning abilities by incorporating parametric representations of knowledge and rules. We pondered over the significance of parametric memory compared to non-parametric memory. We believe that parametric memory stands out due to its unique capacity for deep compression and integration of information, which is crucial for tackling complex reasoning tasks. To demonstrate the potential of parametric memory, we devised a challenging reasoning task with a vast search space. We observed that current state-of-the-art models relying on non-parametric memory, such as GPT-4 Turbo and Gemini Pro 1.5, struggle with this task, while a fully grasped transformer can solve it with almost perfect accuracy. In our task, we introduced additional rules based on the anti, symmetry and transitivity of comparison to expand the search space significantly. This adjustment required models to locate specific bridge entities to connect query entities for a valid proof. 
The task complexity arises from the large search space and the absence of clear clues guiding the search towards the correct proof steps. We evaluated various language models with non-parametric memory using different setups, including loading all facts into the model's context and retrieving relevant information. Results showed that these models performed poorly, with only the retrieval augmented setup with Gemini Pro 1.5 achieving slightly better than random guessing. Interestingly, models struggled even more when prompted to verbalize their reasoning process. On the contrary, the well-trained transformer with parametric memory excelled in achieving near-perfect accuracy. This success was attributed to the model's ability to compress and integrate information effectively. The transformer could infer attribute values of out-of-distribution entities by leveraging observed training facts, showcasing its deep reasoning capabilities. Section Summary In this section, we explore the significance of parametric memory for complex reasoning in transformers. We demonstrate that parametric memory enables deep compression and integration of information, allowing transformers to excel in tasks with large search spaces that are challenging for models relying on non-parametric memory. Our study reveals that while models with non-parametric memory struggle and often fail in complex reasoning tasks, a transformer equipped with parametric memory can achieve near-perfect accuracy by effectively integrating knowledge and rules. Section. Related work. In this section, we explore the research related to knowledge and reasoning in language models. Many studies have shown that transformer language models, including advanced ones like GPT-4, face challenges in implicit reasoning with their learned knowledge. This indicates that they struggle to create organized and concise representations of facts and rules during training. Various attempts have been made to investigate how transformers acquire knowledge and reasoning abilities through controlled experiments, which is also our focus. We have discovered that transformers can perform implicit reasoning over knowledge through a process called grokking. We also examine the relationship between the level of systematicity achieved and the inductive bias of the transformer model. Some studies have trained language models to verbalize the intermediate steps of knowledge and reasoning during inference, known as chain of thought, which has been found to enhance performance, especially for large models with strong generation capabilities. The benefits of such verbalization have also been theoretically demonstrated. Our focus on implicit reasoning is distinct, and it remains an intriguing challenge to understand the role of verbalizations in reasoning tasks and to develop methods that strike a balance between implicit and explicit reasoning for complex problems. Grokking was initially identified in small algorithmic reasoning tasks and has since sparked further research exploring different explanations and expanding the range of tasks where grokking is observed. Our work is the first to observe grokking in knowledge-based reasoning tasks, and our experiments suggest potential revisions to previous hypotheses based on critical data analysis. Our approach to rule induction from atomic and inferred facts is broad and may inspire future research on grokking and generalization in deep learning. Recent studies aim to unveil the inner workings of neural models using various techniques. We utilize causal tracing and logit lens to identify interpretable circuits in the model shedding light on the grokking process and the mechanisms behind generalization. While our focus is on parametric memory in language models, there is also ongoing research on enhancing models with non-parametric memory, such as extending context length and incorporating retrieval mechanisms. Parametric and non-parametric memory complement each other, with parametric memory offering information compression and integration but being prone to errors while non-parametric memory is error-free and aids in attribution. Just like humans organize knowledge in their brains, parametric memory, but also rely on external sources for details, non-parametric memory, models can benefit from both memory types. Deciding how to balance parametric and non-parametric memory in models poses an interesting challenge for future research.